Cleveland Cassius Rifle TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the undercar press conference here for Parker and Fury. I'm joined by Joe Murray. Yeah. How are you, mate? All right? Good, mate. Good, yeah. Ed's, yeah. Ed's looking rather sick today. Yeah, well, you have to make a bit of appearance when you're getting back on the big shows, aren't you? Definitely, got, definitely. Got to get yourself back out there. Uh, you're fighting uh, Matty Fagan this week, uh, which on paper seems to be an interesting fight between the pair of you. Well, yeah, you can say that, but, you know, I believe in my own ability. I believe I, I won't get back up to British title fights and get that British title under me and then move on. So, you know, it's just another stepping stone for me, you know, get, get through this and then get to the bigger fights. How do you think things have gone for you uh, in your career? It has been a little bit up and down for you, uh, yeah, Joe. I feel, I feel like I've, uh, you know, if it weren't for Steve at the moment, I don't know where I'd be in boxing because, uh, you know, I've had 23 fights, 121, and I've only lost to one man who's fought for the world title. So I don't know why my career has been stalled a little bit, but, you know, I'm back now and now it's time to look forward and get to the big fights again. Is it about having a consecutive run of fights and wins for you now to get yourself, like I said, back in contention for these big fights that you want? Yeah, well, you know, it's just now getting the opportunity. As long as I can get the opportunity, I'm sure I can put the performance on. I just need the opportunity. And um, I've got the opportunity on Saturday. I'm, I'm in front of a big TV crowd and stuff like that. So, you know, go, go and do a job. It's not just about winning on Saturday. It's about looking good doing it. And as soon as I look good doing it, hopefully I get a big British title fight. Um, get a British title fight, win that, and then hopefully move on. And hopefully there's some big fights to be made. There's two big Manchester fighters, Terry Flanagan and Anthony Corolla. Hopefully if they keep winning, hopefully I can be in the mix with one of them. Absolutely, and like you said, the only person you have lost to, lost to is Liam Walsh, and yeah. he's the guy that has beaten you twice. So, yeah. uh, you know, apart from that, your uh, record is flawless. So, yeah. you know, moving forward, um, one of those against someone like a Qualler or a Flanagan to get you back back yeah, in there. Yeah, it's one of them. Like, um, I, I got I got off for the fight in Denmark, Denmark, and I had two weeks notice. I took that fight, and you've seen the performance I put out there. You know, I'm not, I'm not to get out who, who people were avoiding, and people was not not wanting to take much of and I, I took the fight on and knocked him clean out and probably got knock out, I got knocked out in a month and one of the knockouts of the year so it shows when the pressure gets put on me I, I can perform and you know I'm ready to fight anyone if, if I didn't want to fight on Saturday I'd fight them as well so you know I'm ready to fight anyone out you won't ever me say no to a fight and, and that's what I'm here to do I want to fight people and I want to see how good I, am, I actually am I want to see how good I can be in this boxing game. When did you turn pro Joe? 2008. Yeah, 2008. So it's, 2008. Been, it's been a long time there. Yeah, it's a been a long time. Yeah, it's been 10 years now, nearly. So, you know, it's time to make a move. If I'm not, the only way I look at it, if I'm not good enough, there's no point in boxing anymore. So, you know, I, I want the big fights to test myself. And if I'm not good enough, I can put my hands up and say I'm not good enough. If I don't ever get, if I didn't ever have that opportunity, I'd always say, what if? So, you know, this is why I'm here and this is what I'm doing. And there was so much talk about you, Joe, when you turned pro and uh, everything. And like I said, you're despite just losing, like I said, them two fights, uh, your career has been a little bit stop-start, but, you know, are, are we going to see the real Joe Murray now sort of come out into your sort of pig now? Yeah, well, I think I think I was a late developer anyway when I first turned pro, and I think I've grown into the to the weight now and stuff like that, so I'm a proper full-blown lightweight, and, you know, um, I think you will see the best of me now. I think, I, I think every time I've been fighting, I've been knocking a lot of people out recently, and uh, it put my knockout rate up a lot more, and, you know, my last three fights, I've knocked two of them out, so... Even though not been one's been televised and the other two haven't, you know, it, you're not getting to see the best. So I've still been busy. I've had six fights this year. This is my seventh. So, you know, I've been busy this year and I'm ready to go. I'm just ready to fight anyone. Anyone you put in front of me, I'll fight. Let me ask your opinion on, uh, obviously, the news we had yesterday that Rio Ferdinand's going to turn professional. Uh, you for this or against it, Joe? I'm against it. You know, I was against the McGregor stuff and I'm against this. You know, it's just like... You know, proper boxers like me who are trying to make our way up and stuff like that. It's hard. It's hard enough for us to get there. And then as soon as a superstar who's never boxed in his life getting these big TV shows, it's just a bit of a joke in it, in my opinion. But it is what it is. If they get the TV and the press, then it brings it into boxing. You can't argue with that, really. Mm. Comparisons with Freddie Flintoff, who had that one professional fight. People making the same comparisons now with, uh, you know, what is Rio Ferdinand going to do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well. You see how good he is, he, you know, if, if a normal man who didn't play football was 38 saying he's turning pro out of probably a heavyweight, you know, we'd all laugh it off and go, what are you doing? But because he's a professional footballer, we're all like, oh, get a bit excited. But, you know, 38, if I said I was turning pro at 38, I don't think I'd get a boxing licence. All right, well, listen, the press conference is about to begin. So, Joe Murray, thank you very much for coming to Eiffel TV, and uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you ahead of fight week this week. Ta, thank you. Top man. Ta.